Well, um, you know, Big Ten win. Um, doesn't matter how you get it, but uh, they're all hard, and I think it showed tonight. You know, obviously Northwestern's really, um, you know, really well coached team that executes and does their stuff, and they were able to execute on us for a really, really good portion of the game, and, and uh, they made it hard on us, and um, you know, we were uh, not very together, not very energized early. And it took urgency and it took desperation to sort of kick us into gear. That helped our crowd, who is just waiting to cheer for something out there, it seems, sometimes. Uh, and then once it got going, I thought we played a little harder. We had a group out there that competed, made a lot of hustle plays. There was a lot of deflected balls. We got in transition and we were able to make the game, uh, you know, obviously tight. But being down three with them going to the line with 3.27 to go, our guys found a way, which is a good sign, that that group that was in there at the end of the game found a way to win it. And, um, you know, we're going to take it. But uh, very concerned with our group right now just in terms of where our brains are, where our minds are, and what we're about. Um, it can come and go with wins and losses. With a, guy, with a team like ours, with as many guys as we have trying to play and do things, we could really uh, use a shot in the arm in terms of uh, some consistency with some guys so they're playing more. But... You know, just looking at our team as we're heading into Saturday and then we move into this month of January, uh, we've got to get ourselves out of a little bit of a funk and we've got to start competing a lot harder uh, because this is the toughest league in America right now to win a game.